Hi everyone! In today's video we are going to do something a little different than usual because I have been sent these products from Artisa, which are 36 metallic acrylic colors and an additional 60 regular acrylic paints along with these miniature brushes that I think will be really good for details and two big blocks of acrylic paper. And they gave me the opportunity to choose anything to my liking from their website to try out and review. And for some reason I chose acrylic colors because it's something that I always wanted to do. By the way, we'll be repainting this digital sketch that I printed out on some just regular paper, some office paper, that I'm going to trace on my light board onto the paper or the acrylic paper that was sent to me by Artisa. So, as I was just about to say before, I have about zero experience working with acrylics. I know what acrylics are, I know somehow how they work. I've seen other people paint with them, but I never really did it myself or experimented with it. All I know is that they dry really fast, so blending and stuff will probably be very hard for me to do. But yeah, well, I am a digital artist attempting some pretty hardcore in my opinion, traditional mediums sent by Artisa. So let's just see how it goes. Let's make a comparison of the sketch and the final acrylic painting at the end. I don't count on using all of the paints. I mean, 60 plus 36 colors, that's a lot. So, so I'll probably be using a lot of them in my sketchbook from now on because I really like how they worked in my sketchbook, which you will see by the end of the video. In the digital sketch that I showed you, I did include some uh, lighting effects and stuff that I don't really count on being able to recreate on the canvas since I have, as I mentioned, zero, like almost zero experience working with acrylic colors. So I was really excited to get started and try out this medium. And I even think I poured up way too many colors in the beginning because I wasn't really sure which I was going to use. So I just poured off bits of pieces of all the colors that I liked. And I used a dust sprayer or whatever they're called, the one that sprays water, to keep them from drying out in the palette. And the big white thing that you see on top of the palette is a sponge. Uh, this is, by the way, just a palette that I bought in Tiger for like 20 Danish kroner. It's like, what? three or four dollars <laughs> and um, if you wet that sponge when you close the lid and wet the colors a bit it's actually it actually stays moist until well at least a couple of days mine stayed completely moist over the night I made this painting over two days and I had no idea how to approach this painting okay I tried to look up some tutorials online but Almost every tutorial that I found on acrylic colors were on landscapes and I am a very, very visual learner. So I didn't have the patience at this time to transfer the landscape techniques onto actually doing portraits, even though I know it's basically the same thing. So if some of you guys out there are actually really good with acrylics, you might want to punch me in the face after watching this video and see how I treat this medium. But hey, I'm a beginner, okay? We're all beginners at something at some point. So the big brushes that you see me using are not from Atiza. Those are just some ones I bought in an art store while I was in New York recently. But the small brushes that I use for tiny details are from Atiza. I don't have a lot of experience with what kind of brushes you use for what kind of paint. I once heard that you use round brushes primarily for watercolor and flat brushes primarily for acrylics and stuff. I'm not really sure how that goes. I just used a bunch of them, even though they were round and some were flat and whatever. I think one of the things I had a hard time doing was the amount of water I would have to use together with the acrylics and how much I should load the brush with paint because sometimes I felt maybe I should have used more water because the paint was actually drying out on the brushes. But in general, I was really satisfied. I mean, I don't really have anything to compare to, okay, except for digital art. But in general, I was satisfied with the coverage of the colors and how well the colors turned out to be to the swatches on the box. The one thing uh, it took me a while to get used to is that it seems acrylic colors dry lighter or is it the other way around? 
Yeah, I think it dries lighter. So like when you put down the paint and once it dries, it will be a little bit brighter than when you put it down and it was wet. Or is it the other way around? It's either that on the all the other way around. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not an acrylics expert and my brain doesn't work these days. <laughs> So already now I feel that the painting is getting a lot darker compared to the digital sketch which makes absolute perfect sense when you consider that the backlighting of the tablet or the picture on the computer makes the picture look much brighter in general because had I printed out the digital sketch with colors and everything it might have looked a bit darker perhaps not as dark as in the acrylic painting but something a lot similar compared to watching it on a screen. I think my favorite part with this drawing was painting the hair because I think I did something right at this point. I loaded the brush with a lot more paint than in the other areas of the painting so I had an easier time blending things together and I think I only realized this by the end of the painting that I should load more paint onto the brush in order to be able to blend better because then of course it's obvious that the paint is wet for longer the more you put on. So the blending or the lack of the same is probably caused by the fact that I didn't load the brush enough or didn't use water enough. I found that the small brushes were really good for like tiny details but I also thought some of them were a little too soft compared to the acrylics when I didn't use water with them because they would start to dry out on the brush which would make the lines I tried to make a little wobbly and not so fine. So by the end I actually took out my fine liner with black and decided to line part of the pieces because I thought it would look nice and I didn't think I could achieve the same effect with the little brushes because they were so soft. So yeah, this painting is definitely not perfect, but it is not as bad as I had feared. <laughs> as I said, zero experience with acrylic colors. But I hope you liked my attempt, it was definitely a challenge. And thanks to Artisa for making it possible for me to review some acrylic paints. I don't have a lot to compare to in regards of reviewing and they know this. I stated clearly that I was a digital artist but that I was interested in trying to paint with acrylics. So they are fully aware that this is not my area of strength. I used acrylic paints one time before. There were some pretty cheap acrylics that I bought just to try it out. And the main difference between them and the ones that I have used now from Artisa is that the ones from Artisa actually didn't dry as fast as the cheap ones that I bought, which in my opinion is really good because I would actually like to be able to blend the colors. So, so considering that I don't really have much to compare them to, I was really satisfied with the product. In regards to the small brushes, I think I will probably use these for watercolor and gouache in the future. Maybe keep the shorter ones for the acrylics, but other than that, I think the long and soft brushes will go to my watercolor collection. But in general, I had a lot of fun and it is definitely not the last time that I'm using these products. And here is the comparison of the two, as you can see, basically all lighting effects have been left out because I should probably have been thinking that in way earlier on. So that's for next time, I guess, that I will try that. But hey, I did make something that doesn't look horrible. So after the painting, I decided to try out some of the pearl or the shimmer acrylic colors in my sketchbook because I thought this would be a nice place to actually use them in general together with some sketches. So here I chose three of the colors that I really liked, a light lilac and a blue and one thing called the final, no, not the final hour, what the heck? Um, something like, something with sunset or something. I thought it was going to be gold, but when it came out with this orange red, it actually made sense because it was something with a sundown. And here you can see the close up of the shimmer and it didn't bend the paper much. I didn't even use any water with this, but there were some tiny indications here that I did use some wet medium in the sketchbook. And this paper is mixed media paper, so it should be able to take some water or witness, but not too much. But I still think it's going to be looking fine in the sketchbook. And just here by the end, I wanted to use some of the gold pearl paint that came as well, because I think these will be some of my favorites. 
And if you were inspired by this video to check out any of Artisa's materials or just look at the website in general, please use the links in the description because those are affiliate links. So that means if you actually buy something, I get a small cut to compensate for my hard work and sweating over using new mediums. And from today and until the 15th of September 2019, you can use my discount code below to get 10% off any purchase that you want to make from Artisa's website. And remember, there are two websites, a US site and a EU site. So, so choose the one that makes most sense to your location. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If my voice sounds a little weird, it's because I think I'm getting sick <laughs> again. Um, so I hope to see you in the next one. If you want to support my content, you can do it completely free by just liking and commenting on this video because it means the world to me. Thank you so much guys and take care. Bye.